The Bible teaches us to be non-resistant. I've had people say to me in the past, well, that just means to be weak. No, it is quite the reverse. It takes a strong woman, a strong man to really be showing strength when you're non-resistant. It's easy to show force. It's easy to show anger. Uh, it is the human way. And really, what that does is reflect weakness instead of strength. Jesus showed us the example of the value of practicing non-resistance. And I ask you to follow Christ's standard of non-resistance this day. You do not resist seeming obstacles of life or death, and you know that just as Jesus did not, you too will overcome, and you'll overcome all. Jesus was loving and forgiving of all people all the time. Well, how exactly was Jesus able to do this? Jesus turned to God in perfect trust, understanding that God was the one presence and one power in his life. Jesus also understood that it was not the challenge, it was not the circumstance or the people that was important, but rather the spiritual attitude in him of being non-resistant. By following Jesus' example, we can learn to let go and place our trust in God. In God, we have the power that absolutely overcomes. The power that sets us free as we follow the Christ standard of non-resistance in every area of our lives, we will follow a pattern of steady, upward spiritual growth. And I pray this for you today, that you find the easy path is the path of non-resistance. God bless you.